Buari caused Abakari's death, Omokri lamented. Reno Omokri, former aide to ex-president Goodluck Jonathan, has said President Muhammad Buari's selfishness led to the death of his late chief of staff, COS Abba Kiari. Omokri said Buhari's selfishness stopped him from building hospitals in Nigeria. We all know Omokri as a, a man of as a man of defense. We know him as somebody that is, you know, outspoken somebody that is fighting for the right of everybody in Nigeria, for the right of the youth, for the right of uh, the innocent people in Nigeria. He has he's always seen so many problems and is pointing at uh, always pointing the problems and always uh, you know, accusing uh, those who are supposed to be accused. Now, he has come up to see that the president is the cause of Abakiari's death. Do you agree with this statement? Do you agree with this allegation? Can we call this an allegation or what can we call this? Is it really true that uh, um, you know, President Muhammad Buhari caused Abakiari's death? Well, 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 we can say it is true. Yes, it is true. Ask uh, somebody in the in the country now this same question, and everybody will tell you it is true. It is true. If the president has built a uh, a befitting hospital, you know, in a hospital that is well equipped, even if it is worn, instead of traveling abroad for medical attention, you know, these people wouldn't have died. During that COVID-19, uh, you know, incidents or, you know, COVID-19 pandemic, the country went through hell. Went through hell in the sense that uh, there was no medical attention. There was no medical, uh, uh, you know, treatment, proper medical treatment given to the patients. And do you know the people that were mostly affected are these our great and strong politicians? They were the one affected. Most of them has an on most of them have an underlying ailment, and we know that uh, COVID nineteen does not agree with any underlying ailment. These people are fond of traveling abroad for medical treatment, and COVID nineteen lockdown stopped them from traveling they couldn't travel and uh, once they are attacked and the covid 19 meets their co- i mean their underlying ailment there's no way they can survive it do we know that he or all of them can actually survive the uh, uh the covid 19 uh pandemic the disease if they were taken to the right hospital in the country if they were given the right treatment, if they were give, taken to an equipped a hospital that is well equipped, they would have survived it. They would have survived. So many people survived. The doctors will not kill themselves now. They will only work with what they have in their, at, at their disposal. That is what they will work with. And it's all, they are always treating in the masses, not the people at the top of the government, not the people that, not the politicians. They all were dying. They were all dying like chickens. They were all dying every day. Look at Ajimobi. He, the, the former governor of uh, Oyo State died as well. Abakiari died. So many senators died. Ex-presidents died. You know, so many of them that you could not even, that we can just mention but few died during the COVID-19 and uh, still, can you tell me now that since that COVID-19 of our last year till this moment, our president has not yet deemed it fit to start up the project of building uh, a befitting, well-equipped hospital in the country 
Are you telling me he cannot see the reason why he should do that now? Now look at what he has done to himself again. He left the country almost a week now to get, uh, you know, for medical checkup. If we have this uh, medical equipment, if we have a well-equipped hospital in Nigeria, do you know that uh, he wouldn't have, there wouldn't be any need for him to have traveled out of the country for any medical attention? No. He will just get his treatment here and, uh, you know, everybody will see him instead of causing uh, problems upon problems making people protest against him to go back to Nigeria and build his own hospital. It's a disgrace and it's a slap on our faces. It is a slap on the president himself. The people no longer respect him. They no longer regard him as anything. Look at the protest that, that went on, uh, that, that was on in London U UK hospital. They don't want him there. They told him to leave the hospital and go. He was even saying he can rule the country, rule our country, Nigeria, from London. How possible it is. If he has, you know, done what he's supposed to do in the country, would there be any need, any need at all for him to travel to the country, outside the, I mean, the country for medical checkup? No, there won't be need for that. There won't be need for that. Well, we hope this message gets to him and we hope he will do all things, everything possible within his power to get this hospital, to get a well-equipped hospital in Nigeria. Before another thing we come up again, we are not praying for such, we are not praying to experience any uh, evil or any, uh, you know, any pandemic any longer, but, but, if something else, if a medical, uh, you know, problem should arise again, if problem should come up, if a pandemic should come up again, we shouldn't be running hectares, skaters. We shouldn't be looking for isolation centers. We shouldn't be looking for cure. We shouldn't be looking for medicine after death because all these things happen so sudden. So sudden, it was so sudden. So many people would have lived long, but they couldn't. <laughs> the issue of this COVID-19, I mean, of un unequipped hospital we have, and we have been having, look at it, from 1962 date, no one of our, none of our president, none of our government leaders have deemed it fit to get a well-equipped uh, hospital. And yet they've not learned their lesson from what happened last year. They have not learned their lesson. They are still leaving everything undone. They are still leaving everything. They are still quiet. They are still silent about it. How long are we going to continue like this? We have many problems. We have many issues at hand. But the ones we can solve, the ones within our power, if we cannot solve the problems of, uh, you know, insecurity, at least the one in at, at our disposal, the one we have power to do, let them do it. Let them go ahead and do it and put smile on the pe people's faces and stop all this traveling abroad for medical treatment. It's so annoying. It's so, uh, you know, uh, uh, disgraceful. It is a slap on our faces. It is a slap of an, our government. It is a slap on our president for crying out loud. Well, let us you know what your takes are on this news to really let us know how you feel. You know, uh, the co your contributions, your opinions, and your takes on this new story. Is it good? Is it right? Is what Omokri is saying, the court read, uh, is, is, is what is what Omokri is saying uh, uh, actually the truth? Or oh, he's just trying to, you know, uh, cause another thing in Paris government. Is it true? Let's know. And I will see you on the other news. Don't forget to subscribe to Tarish TV. Bye for now.